Well, and being consistent with their 2,000-year record of trying to stifle and censor freedom of speech, the Talmudic Jewish lobby uh, has been a recent push they've had is to push for America to essentially forfeit freedom of speech to cater to their demands. Plain and simple. Uh, this is nothing new. Like I said, the, the only thing that has changed is their methods. Instead of trying to kill those that they uh, don't agree with or that criticize their Talmudic Judeo-Satanism, they are now trying to use legal ways and trying to use public pressure and all this other stuff. This is on uh, NBC News. It says, Americans shouldn't forfeit their freedom of speech so states can support Israel. Law stifling the boycott, divest, sanction movement, the protest Israeli policy towards the Palestinians is, are bad for Americans, Jews, and our foreign policy. Now, I've already clarified my position on Israel before, so I'm not going to say it, you know, repeatedly say it over and over again. So anyone who thinks I'm racist, you're just, you're just falsely accusing me at this point, and you're in sin. So, not going to bother. But it says in the article, uh, in recent years, several states have enacted legislation to use the power of government to stifle boycotts against Israel and Israeli settlements. These laws not only violate the First Amendment, they open the door to a much broader government control of public discourse, something that all Americans, especially American Jews, should fear. At a time when our democratic institutions are under attack, it has never been more important to, to hold the line on our constitutional freedoms rather than throw them away to advance a misguided cause. As the leaders of, of the uh, two sorry, as leaders of two American major Jewish and pro-Israel advocacy groups, we might not be expected to spearhead a, a fight against laws that seek to discourage participation in the boycott, divestment, sanctions movement against the state of Israel. Although some under the broad BDS umbrella have trafficked in anti-Semitic ideas and rhetoric heavily heavy-handed attempts by states to protect or sorry to restrict and prohibit people from uh, participating in the movement both violate the first amendment and do absolutely nothing to protect israel or jews i also would add too that you know see the thing about freedom of speech is that the time of jewish lobby they will they will invoke freedom of speech when they agree with what's being said but when they don't agree with what's being said they turn to full-on communists and nazis and try to censor freedom of speech you see and plus too why should it be a crime to you know essentially a, you know, oppose stuff that a foreign nation does, you know? It's kind of weird how, essentially what it goes to show is that the thing of America first, see, the movement of America first, you know, the the Talmudic Jewish lobby will give lip service to that, but really they're only pro-America if it's pro, basically unquestioning obedience to Israel. And, you know, Israel is in a lot of sin. You know, so I, I, like I've, I clarified my stance on Israel, but I support racial Israel's right to be in that land. But they are in a lot of sin. They're anything but perfect, scripturally speaking. Hence why God hasn't put them through his wrath for seven years during the time of Jacob's trouble. So criticizing, you know, or, or sorry, criminalizing, you know, boycotting something. So, I mean, for example, if I were to, like, boycott Israel for something wicked they do, I guess I'm now in violation of this, this stupid law, these, these communist-like laws. Bunch of garbage, but hey, the consistent record of the time about Jewish lobby. Continuing on the article, the right to boycott has been well established as a basic free speech right. Free speech right. The Supreme Court held that the 1982 case NAACP vs. Uh, Caliborn Hardware Co. that the rights to free speech and peaceably, peaceable assembly for the purposes of, the, of demanding uh, redress of grievances are constitutionally protected and of course there's a long history of marginalized groups in America America successfully using boycotts to pass the press for social and political change from the Montgomery bus boycott during the civil rights movement to the Delano grave strike and, boy, uh, and boycott from 1965 to 1970 and even the boycott of South Africa's apartheid regime which eventually led to the imposition of sanctions against South Africa by the United States however Recently, however, the right to boycott has come under attack when it comes to Israel. At least 27 states have adopted laws requiring companies or people who contract with the state to certify that they will not participate in boycotts of Israel or Israeli settlements. Um, why should a foreign nation be subjected to constitutional protections in America? You know? But then again, again, it's only freedom of speech if the Talmudic Jewish lobby agrees with it. If they don't agree with it, well, then you should be censored. Because again, they're just a bunch of Nazi communists. See, they're no different than the Nazis or the communists who censor speech they don't like. No different, and like I said, they've had a two, they have a, they have a two thousand year record of consistently trying to shut down freedom of speech. The only thing that has changed is instead of trying to kill those they don't agree with or that criticize them, they're now trying to use legal ways through the state to shut down anti semites, which they we you know pretty much anybody who criticizes their blasphemous Talmud and their false you know their, their blasphemous evil false religion Judaism is an anti semite who ought to be shut down, you know who ought to be imprisoned for his speech similar to how you would be imprisoned in Nazi Germany for saying something the government doesn't agree with. 
no different. So anyway, I wanted to point that out. Uh, just to the Atomic Jewish Lobby doing what they do best. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.